Well, hello everybody. Uh, this is Reagan, your RV Traveler's Voice. It's a foggy morning here at our current campground and we're all loaded up and about to hit the road to Davis Bayou, Corps of Engineers Campground down uh, near Biloxi, Mississippi. So stay tuned as we make our way down there and get all set up. We'll keep you posted and uh, give you a look around the campground. Well, hello everybody. This is Reagan, your RV Traveler's Voice. And we did make it down to Davis Bayou. Uh, it was a little bit of a delay. We had a, another flat tire, but we got that taken care of and got things fixed up and back on the road. So uh, anyway, we're down here at uh, Davis Bayou here on the Gulf of Mexico, just uh, here in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. And we're gonna walk around the campground just a little bit, give you uh, snapshot of some of the uh, campsites here as well as some of the amenities and opportunities here at the uh, Davis Bayou Recreation or Campground area. Stay tuned. And here we are at the main entrance to the Davis Bayou area of the uh, Gulf Islands National she Seashore. I'll get it out in a minute. The Gulf Islands National Seashore National Park, part of the National Park Service. So. Uh, Campground here, a relatively small campground, uh, one uh, larger loop here and a small cul-de-sac off of that loop. Uh, does have bathhouse as well as uh, water and uh, 20, 30, 50 amp service. Has uh, 52 sites here, a variety of uh, mostly all back-end sites, uh, all uh, in this little uh the loop little campground so we're gonna walk around here and then we'll uh give you a look at some of the other opportunities here at this uh, gulf islands national seashore and right here by the ranger station check-in gate just across the road you'll come to site number one the uh, back end site here facing into the woods and to the uh, national park boundary area site number two another back end site i will say uh all these sites have a fresh pavement, nice, well-kept park area here, and uh, lots of, of opportunities here at the campground, but basically most of the sites are fairly close to each other, as we'll uh, kind of show you as we go along here at site number two. Site number three here on the inside, camp host site. Site number four here on the, the outside back end site facing into the woods. Site five, a back end site. And just uh, across from site number six, we have the uh, restroom and shower house. Uh, restrooms on one side, the showers are on the other side. Uh, they're all individual uh, single door showers. And so we'll pan slowly around and see site number six. It is a really uh, short site here backing into the woods. And there it is, close to site number four. And right next to site number six here on the right, you'll see the picnic table is right next to the picnic tables for site number seven. Seven is a little bit of an odd site. Uh, your connections are on the traditional side and your picnic table and fire ring is on that same side. You have a little pad on the other side. It is fairly close to site number eight, but has great shade under this nice large live oak tree. Site number eight here with this uh, large, Class A, Jeep here in front. We'll say uh, most of the sites are fairly short sites, so uh, you can uh, squeeze a long rig and a vehicle in, but it is uh, fairly tight on most of the sites. So check out the links on recreation.gov. And right next to eight, we have number nine, facing out in the woods, nice, uh, nice view out in the woods from your side here at number nine. Number 10, 
at the back end side facing into the woods angled pretty well so you're not looking directly into your next nearest neighbor at 11 and 11 here another relatively short back end sight kind of facing a bit into your nearby neighbor there at 12. Site number 12, nice little back end side here as well, nicely shaded underneath this big tree here. And as we make our way down to the end of this little short cul-de-sac off the main loop, come to site number 13, facing out in the woods here in the marsh, 14 right next to it. There's your picnic area for 13 and then 14, 14 kind of facing out in the woods and 15, all three of these right here, fairly close together. Moving on around the end of the cul-de-sac, from site 15 there, over here, site 16, fairly short site as well, looking into the woods and the marsh in the background. And site 17 also, a fairly, fairly short site. Your picnic area kind of squeezed in here towards the front. 18 here nestled between a couple of these large oak trees facing out of the woods and 19 here uh, probably one of my uh, more favorite sites it does uh, doesn't look directly into the camp uh, camp table of the nearest neighbor you got plenty of shade out front you got plenty of views of the, of the woods and you've got some privacy a little bit from your next nearest neighbor up here and 20 a, a decent back end side here a little bit of views of the marsh out there behind uh, your next neighbor 21 there you see to your left and as we get back to the main loop here this is site number 21 and i'll pan over to site 22 there right next to you so kind of both kind of out in the open 21 does have a little bit more shade but uh, both clear level sites and as we come back to the main loop here, site 23 here on the corner of the main loop, under the canopy of this, uh, again, this very large live oak tree. But uh, 23 is out in the open, uh, not much shade. Otherwise, with this uh, relatively very, very short campsite, you see the airstream in there and the tow vehicle kind of shoehorned in here. To stay on the path. And site 24 here continues down this uh, string of sites here on the outside of the of the main loop. And your campsite there, kind of facing back into the woods. And just across from 24, back another view at the bathhouse. You'll see this is where the uh, dump station and clean water supply station is also located. And there in the distance, you kind of see out in the middle of this loop, there is a little bit of a, a group demonstration area there with the, the benches in place around a large fire ring. And 25 comes to our rig here, uh, backed all the way in. Another uh, relatively short site, but we did fit our Ethel 29 V-Bud in, as well as Fred, the tow vehicle. So we fit it all in there. This one, uh, the picnic table is a bit far away from the, uh, the camper, uh, but you do have a little bit of shade from that oak tree in the background. And you are uh, fairly close to number 27 coming. And across from 25, start to see some of the interior sites as well. This is 26, handicap accessible uh, site, I believe. And uh, it is back in sight under this nice oak tree. And back on the outside of a 27 level, back in sight, picnic table there underneath the shade of the trees. And another one on the inside, 28, there smack underneath this big oak tree. and your nearest neighbor not too far. 29's back on the outside here, and uh, the camp area is far in the back there, and this one's a little bit longer uh, driveway as well. So definitely you could probably squeeze a big rig in here. And we come to site 30. Uh, it does have a bit of an upslope, uh, a little bit of slope up to get back into it. Kind of out here in the open. And here at site 32, it's a little bit wider pad here, so uh, you got plenty of room to, to back a vehicle in around you as well so a nice side here at 31 although you see the camp area for uh, 29 right there behind it 32 here on the inside back end site here uh, out in the open 
And here we are at site number 33 inside. It does uh, have a bit of a slope down here to the road. So front to back, have to do a little leveling. Side to side looks looks pretty decent. And 34 here on the inside. Uh, pretty good, pretty long site. The uh, camp table fire ring or the hydra rig. And we come to site 35. Back inside underneath the trees here, kind of shoehorned next to you. Your nearest neighbor and the uh, unique thing about this one the uh, camp table is way down there below you got a little step down nice little private area for your camp table and fire ring and at 36 here here close to uh, 35 and 38 the uh, camp area is down down below here you can kind of see it back through between the truck and this fifth tree. back on the inside 37 here on the curve you have kind of the back of the other camper uh, looking into you. And the last one on the outside of the loop is uh, 38 here, close to 36 as well, but 38 as far as your own private little camping area. It's nice there, all secluded by itself. And the swamp down there through the come to site number 39 here on the inside of the loop. Back's in, you got your camp table and your uh, fire ring here on the uh, on this side and the other side is the main central area of the campground number 40 here on the outside of the loop kind of narrow skinny camp area 41 a relatively short side here on the inside of the loop a little sandy uh, tent pad area behind you 42 Here on the uh, outside of the loop, right next to uh, 43. They are angled pretty good, so you're not looking right in on your neighbor. Coming up on 44 on the inside of the loop here. 45 here on the outside, back inside, facing out into the woods. And back to the inside, site 46 here. Kind of out in the open, uh, not too close to your nearby neighbors. 47 here. On the outside, and a little interesting layout site. Not a whole lot of space there for a camp table, and then your fire ring is actually behind your your uh, utility connection. And 48 here, this big class A, kind of off by itself uh, from a campground campsite perspective. And on site 49 here, where they're doing a little bit of tree trimming. And you do have kind of the group uh, pavilion area, a group uh, demonstration area behind you as well. And site 50, a uh, very short site here with this uh, tent. And the campsite on the other side. 51, a nice long, uh, level site backing underneath the shade trees here. And the last of the sites here before the exit, site number 52, back inside here on the outside. A nice. Uh, campsite area here I'm facing out into the and just for a little perspective I'm standing here at the uh, entrance to the small cul-de-sac and it uh, probably reminds me more of the traditional Corps of Engineers type sites here where the sites are a little uh, further spaced apart and lots lots of shade as compared when I pan around to the main loop After this rig passes, you can see the main loop. Uh, the rigs are fairly tightly spaced, and uh, there are quite a few trees around here, but not a whole lot of coverage on any of the individual uh, camp pads. So uh, you have to find the select ones to get a lot of shade if you're here in the, the muggy summer as well. And just outside the main entrance to the campground area, you'll find couple of very large group pavilions, restrooms, facilities, and lots of day use picnic tables here as well. And just outside the entrance to our campground, you'll also find this little hike and bike trail. And I think this leads us, will lead us ultimately down to the beach. We shall see. Well, after about a uh, five minute bike ride, moderate speed bike ride from the campsite, You'll find yourself at East Beach, 
a long strip of sand here on the Gulf. Actually, it's kind of in the bay area here. You'll see the bay behind me. And uh, there's a few areas with nice uh, sandy access, like the place that I'm here uh, at now, access to the water. Uh, most of it back along this way, you'll see uh, basically is covered with a little uh, marshy grassland area that is uh, kind of uh, dotted with a number of boat houses and docks uh, along the way there. So uh, anyway, there is beach access from this campground. It is uh, just a short, short drive away or a short uh, back ride away out the back trail from the park. And just outside the main gate, you can find another road that runs down to the boat ramp. And a number of these little cabins here, numbered cabins, looks like they're for rent during the, during the season. And we'll roll on down here, you'll see the boat ramp, as well as a uh, group picnic area as well. And back on the main park road, you'll find there is a visitor center and a fishing pier down around this curve. We'll go take a look. And here we are at the Visitor Center that's open every day till 5 o'clock. And they have a few exhibits in there, a little movie, as well as access to some boardwalks out back to look out over, over the bayou, see a little bit of wildlife. And on down just past the visitor center, come to a day use picnic area. And I'm told there's a fishing pier down here somewhere. So we're gonna wander on around and see if we can find a fishing pier. Pro tip from the uh, ranger was the fish are biting, but they're biting on live shrimp and blue crab. And we made our way on down the path here. And guess what? Yes, there is a fishing pier. Nice composite deck. Get some great views of the bay here.
I don't have nothing for you, buddy. I don't have nothing for you, buddy. I don't have any fish for you. Where are you going? I left all the fish in the water. Okay, Bandit. We'll see you next time. Well, that about wraps things up here from Davis Bayou here on the Gulf Islands National she Seashore. And hope you've enjoyed our visit here and enjoyed this video. Don't hesitate to like, subscribe, ask us any questions, and we'll see you down the road. Happy camping.